Good morning everyone, today we're checking out a brand new video from the one and only Prog Magic of an early root bug Pokemon of every type. Now let's see what creepily crawls across the screen. The early root bugs, little insectoid companions near the start of every Pokemon game since the beginning. With seven types between them, we have had 13 Pokemon lines fall under That's this category. 14 if you count Dustox as its own line. So with Halloween right around the corner, let's talk about some creepy crawlies with an early root bug of every type. Hey everyone, Brandon here. We have up, 11 Brandon? types to fill. Since Game Freak thought bug poison or bug flying were the ultimate type combo of root one bugs until Gen 6, apparently. Except for <laughs> yeah, this little dude right here. Look at you breaking the cycle, you adorable little... Oh, the other types. Right. Well, let's yeah, get let's started go, with the go. ground type. With a myriad of ground dwelling or burrowing Ooh, bugs, lines. there are so many options for what this type could be represented by. But my personal favorites are Grubber, Treadle, and Dirt Beetle from Tubbs AZ's oh. Goros region. Grubber and Treadle are obviously based on grubs, pupa, rubber, and tires. Mm -hmm. Dirt Beetle is based Come on obvious. rhinoceros beetles, dung beetles, and motor scooters, such as the very famous Vespa, which means wasp in Italian. Yet Ooh. another bug. Anyone else suddenly in the mood to watch Luca? Grubber yes. uses the bumps on their back to protect their elastic body and roll around, which Treadle also does at high speeds, with its thick exoskeleton protecting it from potential damage. The dirt wheels Derbeetle creates space. are treasured possessions and can be devastating to the Pokemon if lost. And you can have a new treasured possession that you won't lose thanks to today's sponsor, Raycon. Raycon, back to it. For the fairy type, from Anartist to Stray, we have Burndle, Criscoon, and Muffluff. They are based on silkworms and oh, a silk so moth, cute. but they have additional inspirations. Burndle is also based on a type of adult swaddling therapy called Otonomaki that is meant to help alleviate posture problems and stiffness, with the idea coming from Ohinamaki, wow. in which babies are swaddled in a similar fashion, which okay, is referenced in its cool. dex entry where it will swathe itself in its own silk at birth and will begin eating immediately, which is exactly how I spend my Friday nights, swaddled and snacking. <laughs> Damn, Kiskun is additionally right. based on a ball of yarn, and its dex entry references yarn's property of being susceptible to static electricity by sticking to things. Muffluff's light coat of fluff from its dex entry Entry refers to moths being drawn to clothing and the fact that silk is used in clothing. <laughs> months, Let's months, move months. on to the fighting type, for which I chose Beefle, Punchbag, and Hercules from Elite Four. Beefle and Punchbag are based on. Okay, that's clearly based around the Hercules Beetle, but it's even in the name. On combat training tools, and Hercules is based on the Hercules Beetle and sumo wrestlers. Hercules beetles during the mating season participate in a combat behavior to compete for female attention that is similar to sumo wrestling. Beefles spend their lives training to get stronger. If there are no Pokemon to battle, they will fight trees or rocks instead. Punchbag mm -hmm. can take any impact without feeling any pain, but will get mad and attack if you hit their mouth. The more hits that Punchbag takes Ow. will make it even stronger when it evolves into Hercules. Hercules tests their strength by fighting Hariyama and Heracross, but they won't battle against any weaker Pokemon. On to the Goku. rock type. For this, we have Wiggleam, Crystalis, and Dimoth from Michael Ryan's nice. Fearing region. They are based on the Jeweled Caterpillar and the Diamondback Moth. Wiggleam and Chrysalis are literal diamonds in the rough, using their hardened jewels to protect themselves from potential predators. Right. And Diamoth's dazzling wings are coated in rare gems that glisten in the light. Make sure to check out Michael's <laughs> video on these- Hey, Dancy, Dancy, I found your partner. Pokemon for more information. For the normal type, what is the most common insect I can guarantee most people on Lie. the planet have encountered Mosquito. at least once in their life? Mosquitoes! So ah, also from Tubbs AZ, we have Infestic, Cocovery, and Vaxquito. Alongside their mosquito basis, Infestic is based on thermometers and sickness, Cocovery is based on bandages and a recovering patient, Aww. and Vaxquito is based on nurses and vaccines. It's a nurse. I find this line to be so interesting because it really flips the script on what mosquitoes are typically associated with. Be yeah, instead of taking blood, they're giving blood. Being the infected one that then becomes a healer rather than being the infector. Infestic is riddled with illnesses that will prevent it from evolution unless properly cared for, which upon evolving, Cocovery is in a constant state of recovering from said illnesses. When it evolves into Vaxquito, the vaccine-like fluid in its tail is capable of quickly healing minor illnesses. There is actually a split Whoa. final evolution called Masquerte, which is part ghost type, though it actually isn't the ghost entry for this video. That I distinction like goes it. to the early root bugs from the Devar region, Lunarva, Gaboon, and Rohinoth. Wait, something looks different here. Oh yeah, I worked with JJ Mons to redesign Rohinoth into something truly spectacular. They even updated Lunarva and Gaboon a bit oh. to match. I wasn't happy with the original design because it was rushed. 
I had the idea yeah. for it two weeks before the video it was featured in was supposed to release. So this redesign breathes new life into the Pokemon and gives it the love they it deserves. Well. It still well. maintains all of its design inspirations. Rohini, the goddess and consort to the moon god Chandra, which is accented by the more dress-like parts of its wings, the antennae to reference the Rohini satellite, blood and ghost moons, and the Indian moon moth. Its Love wings it. are now waxing in waning crescent moons, which come before and after a new moon, which refers to the fact that this is a new redesign of the original and acts as a new moon Pokemon. Ooh, this really redesign cool. will replace the original in the final dex video for the Devar region. I know a lot of you out there are slamming your keys to comment, Devar mentioned, where is it? And just trust me, <laughs> it's coming back okay. for the story video soon. Next, Relax, we move on guys. to the Steel type. Something I've mentioned a few times in the past is that before Devar, I was actually designing a Spain and Portugal based region that I had named Ispar, which I decided to change to India right before Paldea was announced, and I am so thankful to my past self for changing course, <laughs> but I did have some designs already made, one of which was an early root bug line. So allow me to introduce Carbug, the carbon bug Pokemon, Aluminous, the carbon cocoon Ooh. Pokemon, and Recycla, the Carbon Shell Pokemon, okay, which I worked okay. with Alisteva076 to create. This line is based on a kind of insect called the Masked Hunter. As nymphs, they will cover themselves in dust to help camouflage with their surroundings. So the base idea behind this line was what if instead of dust, it was scraps of recycled metal. Carbug gathers scraps of metal mm -hmm. that it makes into a giant pile, then dives into to help it evolve into a Luminous, which you can see has scraps of metal from other Steel-type Pokemon, which I would like to say I had the idea first before the Tinkaton line was even close to being shown. Anyway, <laughs> Game Freak somehow reading yeah. my mind aside, when a Luminous evolves, the infinity energy brought about from evolution fuses the metal with Recyclaw's carapace, making and it finally so become part steel type. Boom. Now we've reached some bugs I worked with Trainer Rex to create specifically for this video. Which, by the way, if you want to help support these artists and myself, become a member. Membership gets you perks like videos early, a shout out at the end of my videos, and the Art Mage tier directly funds for one fake mod a month that you are credited for and receive a high quality image of. So become hey, a member it today, can, it people. really helps. So first up we have the Water type. There are many different kinds of water-based bugs. Many mm -hmm. have already been made into Pokemon. Yes. But there is one species that has yet to be made that Fakemon artists have been imagining for years now. And that is the Diving Beetle. Its aquatic nature makes um, for a perfect bug water okay. type, and so I wanted to do my own take on the concept. So here is Scoobug, the diver Pokemon, a bug water type. As its name implies, this bug is also inspired by scuba diving. You can see that its eyes yeah. look like a scuba mask, its back legs look like flippers, Fins, and its yeah, coloration flipples. matches the stereotypical colors associated with scuba suits, Black as well yellow. as the dark brown color of many diving beetles. Scuba are highly exploratory Pokemon. They enjoy finding new things both underwater and on land. At level 17, Scoobug evolves into Scoobian, the Bubble Claw Ooh. Pokemon. Upon Based around, of course, a Water Scorpion. On evolution, this Pokemon gains a few additional inspirations. First is the Water Scorpion and Giant Water Bugs, which come from the same suborder of Heteroptera and are water-based. Though its design doesn't reflect the water scorpion mm. directly, Scoobian's tail functions similarly, acting like a breathing tube. It also okay. uses this tail like an elephant's trunk, taking in and blasting out water, or as seen in its art, simply blowing bubbles. Scoobian's body shape is more inspired by the giant sea scorpions found 468 million years ago, but also reflects a life raft with oars, which Scoobian can act as, saving people and Pokemon alike who are lost at sea, oh, with its bubble big. claws allowing it to safely place them atop its back. It will launch these claws out in an attack called Bubble Claw, a base 70 special water type move that has a high crit ratio. Basically a Neat. special attacking version of Aqua Cutter. After that, we actually have two types, Fire and Ice. Ah, For these two, cool. I thought, well, we've had an early root bug that has split evolutions before, so why don't we just do that again? So, so allow me to okay, introduce Thermite, the thermal Pokemon, a pure bug type. Shoto to Thermite, I, uh, hold on. Uh, you may have accidentally named it after the highly uh shit i don't know how to call it uh, that does stuff that melts Hiroki, eat your heart out as its name implies thermite is based on termites just a simple little bug with a unique color scheme to match its unique evolutions speaking of thermite evolves differently depending on both its gender and what kind of stone it is exposed to if thermite really is female now? and exposed to an ice stone it will evolve into tundras the tundra pokemon Tundrasp mm. is based on a couple insects. Not bad. First is the Thistledown Velvet Ant, which not Whoa. only sounds like a Bridgerton character, but also isn't even an ant. The Scandal! It is actually a <laughs> form scandal. of Wingless Wasp. The other bug it is based on is Diggersby. <coughs> Excuse me. On Diggerbees. Where Tundrasp's ah, okay. ice typing comes go. in is its inspiration of the Snow Bees, 
which are what the characters of the story the snow queen called the snow she commanded elsa and todoroki in the same fake bond we are like one step away from a full-blown fanfic here a sting from tundras can result okay, in feeling on. ice cold for weeks and even <laughs> the frozen status which is actually their signature move frosting a base 60 physical bug type move with a 25% chance to freeze the opponents. Hey, and if Thermite good. is male and exposed to a Firestone, it will evolve into Infermadon, the Inferno Pokemon. Obviously, this guy is based on a Fire Ant, but taken literally. Oh, it yeah. is more specifically based on Red Imported Fire Ant, or Riffa for short. Its gladiatorial Ooh, body shape clever. and name are inspired by the legend of the Myrmidons, warriors that were transformed from ants by Zeus in order to protect the kingdom of his son, Myrmidon, from which they get their name. And Firmadon also has a signature Very move good. similar to Tundrasp, called Blaze Sting, which is the same as Frosting, but has a 25% chance the to inflict yes. burn instead. Wasps and ants come Not from the bad. same suborder of Apocrita, so having them evolve from the same Pokemon made sense, even if termites aren't really related to either. But come on, that name was too perfect, and termites are super similar to ants. These two also I share the theme the of degree. serving royalty, with the Snow Bees serving the Snow Queen and the Myrmidon serving Myrmidon. In their design, I tried to minorly reflect the vibes of previous generations where there were two early root bugs, with one being a bit more rounded and cutesy, and the other being a bit more hardened looking and creepy. Last but not least, we have the Dragon type, right, which let dragon. me tell you, was the most difficult to decide on in this entire video. I just I could bet. not land on a concept that I was happy with for like a whole week's worth of working. Bug Dragon type has been a type combo consistently dunked on with so many chances to have happened already, so I wanted to make sure I did it right with this Pokemon. But eventually, I found something that I was happy with. So allow what me to got? introduce Dazzer, the Dragonfly Pokemon, a pure bug type, oh. which at level 26 evolves into Henger, the superpower Pokemon, Ooh. a bug dragon type. That's right, we spun okay. the block back on a Dragonfly Pokemon, but we also have ourselves another Tokusatsu-inspired Pokemon. Henger's name comes from Henshin, a very common term used in Toku series which means transform. Henger's design Not is also bad. inspired by the Emperor Dragonfly, Tombo Oger, the Dragonfly Ranger from the Super Sentai series Osama Sentai King Oger, the Red Mystic Ranger Dragon Battleizer, Damn, and Kamen awesome. Rider Drake from Kamen Rider Kabuto. Can we just take a second to look at this writer's design? Like, this is peak. The Dragonfly coming yeah, across the arms and chest with the wings creating a shoulder pad? Incredible. Anyway, Henger's wings are meant to look like blades, which many rangers use as their primary mm -hmm. weapon. This would also be referenced in its 16. new signature move, Blade Wings, a base 65 special dragon type move with a high crit ratio. Not this move bad. refers to the powered up slash attacks many Sentai and Power Rangers teams do, with the high crit ratio referencing how sometimes that can be the final attack of the battle. <laughs> and kind of sometimes not. Dasher is inspired by the blue Dasher Dragonfly and the Mecha or Zorits from Power Rangers and Super Sentai. I thought the idea of the Mech evolving into the Ranger itself would be interesting. And with kind the addition of, of Henger, kind of we is. have a full team of Tokusatsu bug Pokemon, with Henger acting as the Blue Ranger, Lokix the Black Ranger, and Ledian the Red Ranger. That leaves us only needing a yellow and pink Ranger. And that is an early root bug of every type. Thank you so much to our incredible members whose names you can see on screen for supporting this channel with their hard-earned money, which you can also do by hitting that join button. Thank you. All right, everyone. Well, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Link to the original will be in the description below. And I'll see all of y'all next time when we flick back on. Till then, this is Fox signing out. Peace.